Okay, I found Comet Atlas. I'm using my 12 inch light bucket, my Dysonian that I've used in previous videos on other comets and Jupiter and such. You have to look at that if you want to see the telescope. It's an Apertura 12 inch. It's a push tube. There's no electronics on it. A basic giant nice 12 inch light bucket. Here's the comet. I might uh, switch through different modes to try to get a better view of it. Figured I might as well uh, put a video up showing it what it looks like through this, which used. You can find these scopes for under a, easy under a thousand dollars. New, they're not much more. And I am running Prime, where I have no eyepieces in there. This is straight through my full frame Sony. A7S right into the scope and this comet is actually fading bad you can hardly see it with my eyes in fact I can't really find it with my eyes but I found it with a scope but that's how good these scopes are I mean you can buy a little compact 5 inch I got a video either going to go up or put up with a when a comet was real bright with my 5 inch and doesn't compare to this at all let me I'm going to adjust one thing here put it into what's called deep mode less graininess what I want to do is I'm going to probably turn up my ISO and I want to see how long that tail is but look at this thing I mean, that's quite the tail. I might turn my camera so it's more sideways. I don't know if that will mess anything up or not. It's pretty awesome. And we can zoom in and whatnot. But I want to do is take a couple pictures quick. And I'm going to also put a time lapse up with my 50 millimeter dark, dark night lens. Minicong. That's pretty sweet. It'll we'll let your move a little bit through the frame, and I think I'm going to hook up my 50 millimeter lens. Quick, get a time lapse because the moon will be coming up. I don't know if I'll point at the moon or not. It's going to be behind the trees for quite a while. <laughs> 